I was like, I felt like I was a Muslim before I knew I was a Muslim, you know? Yes. So like... Good, good, alhamdulillah. So what's the next step? Taking my shahada. Alhamdulillah. So I was conversing uh, with uh, Sister Frey uh, that, you know, there are so many people around the world, uh, 7 billion people. In the USA, more than 300 million people. Uh, people are busy. They don't even go to church. And, you know, they are social media and work and hobbies and friends. It's really hard. It's really rare for a person to ask questions. Who is the creator? You know, let me learn about Islam. So what made you, Sister uh, Frey? Not only to learn about Islam, but l like today, you know, you came to ask questions. What was the spark? Um, I've always had, coming from a Christian family, I've had a lot of questions of why certain things happened in Christianity, and I never got the answer that I was looking for. So I never really resonated with being a Christian, and it never really touched me the way Islam touched me. Um, I would always wonder why Jesus would take our sins when we were the ones who made the, you know, the sins. It shouldn't be put on him. It should be put on us because we have to learn from our mistakes and we reap what we sow. MashaAllah, right? Uh, as I was giving the example before, Islam is a faith which is like really fair and just. Uh, whatever that we do, that's what, you know, we, we are accounted for, not other person's sins. For example, when you came here, you drove from your home to here, your work to here. Suppose if you drove over the speed limit, if the cop would have stopped you, gave you a warning or maybe also a ticket, hope not, right? <laughs> uh, then it will not be fair if some other driver would be given your ticket right. or me or her or anyone else, right? It will not be fair. So we say that Islam uh, says that, uh, that whatever that you do, that's what you bear. So personal accountability. And plus, you know, it opens many loopholes. A person can do something and say, you know what, Jesus took my sins away, <laughs> correct? Mm -hmm. So any which way that you look at it, uh, it makes more sense. It's more logical and fair and just that what we do, that's what we bear. And the Quran says that, chapter 2, verse number 286. So what other other questions that you may have had about Christianity when you read the Bible or saw that movie, you know, the Bible movie that you said? Um, I just, I wondered a lot oh, why Christians, and I can't speak for all Christians, but Christians that I have seen, they don't always uh, do what they preach. Um, you know, they can go out drinking this and that and then still say they're Christian and do all these things. But what I've seen with Muslims, you know, I, I can't speak for all Muslims, but what I have seen, I have seen them, you know, honestly, they pray, you know, they're just, they're good Muslims. They, they really go by the Quran and you know, they praise Allah, and that's something that really touched me because I want to be close to God and go to Jannah one day, inshallah. Inshallah, so. inshallah. highest place in Jannah, right? Yes. <laughs> highest place in paradise. Uh, you know, there are good and bad uh, apples in the followers of any faith. But you're right, there are more practicing Muslims, knowledgeable Muslims, you know, holding on to the principles of Islam than unfortunately people of some other faiths. So what other questions that you may have had about uh, Christianity or? Um, I honestly just fell in love with Islam right when I uh, learned about it. What's f uh, for the first thing is like uh, Arabic is a beautiful language, uh, mashallah, and I'm currently learning Arabic. My hope and my prayer and the prayer for all of us is that you become a scholar of Islam. There are so few scholars of Islam who are like really born and raised here, especially, you know, women scholars. Uh, there are some, alhamdulillah, you know, they're really good. But I want you to be, I encourage you, right? And we pray for you yeah. that you also become a scholar of Islam so you can enlighten more people and look at all the rewards that will be coming back to you, inshallah. Inshallah, that's my dream to one day, you know, learn a lot about Islam and get a lot of knowledge so I can help others who are in my shoes who came from other religion families or no religion families at all and want to really learn about Islam and convert. It's very beautiful religion, honestly. I'm yeah, a Muslim actually, <laughs> you know, I'm honestly. Uh, uh, Islam came to transform our lives, uh, not only us, our families, and then all of humanity. That means there are certain instructions that Allah wants us to uh, obey and, and live by. A Muslim is supposed to be a peace ambassador for humanity. That means once a person becomes a Muslim, we just don't stay home or go to a, you know, like some monks, they go and go away from the society or some people sit under a tree, you know, for enlightenment. A, a good Muslim, a, a good practicing Muslim should be out in the society 
and uh, and joining good and making the society better so we are supposed to be a force of goodness in the society makes sense yes. right because i mean islam came to make society better and we should be the ambassadors of islam uh, since we know that islam is true uh, just like you want to go to paradise you should also desire you know your parents your family your friends your neighbors and all of humanity so to do that we have to tell them about islam mm -hmm. right really important by our good words and good deeds we have obligations towards our families you have parents right mother father right so no matter if they are muslims or non muslims we are supposed to be the best daughter the best son the best family member because now islam has transformed our lives and that should be reflective in our actions and behavior especially starting with our parents but it's now your obligation my obligation that we are the ones uh, so there are no prophets to come we are the ones to take the message of islam starting with our families and neighbors and colleagues and classmates and then to the rest of humanity I was like I felt like I was a Muslim before I knew I was a Muslim, you know. Yes. So like. Good, good. Alhamdulillah. So what's the next step? Taking my shahada. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Looks like you are content and satisfied and peaceful with the questions and the beliefs of Islam, yes, right? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. I am so uh, blessed and fortunate, and we feel the same way that uh, our sister Frey. Alhamdulillah, you have been uh, studying Islam for how long? Few months. Two years. Two years. Alhamdulillah, right? That's a long enough time. Now, the best decision and the best day of your life, sister uh, Frey, taking the shahada. Ready for it? Ready. Allahu Akbar. Right. So what we can do is uh, let's do this in English first, so you can understand, and then we will do this in Arabic, so you can also, for the sake of formality, okay. inshallah. Bismillah. So please repeat after me. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no other God. That there is no other God besides one God, Allah. Besides one God, Allah, and I bear witness, and I bear witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, is the slave servant, is the slave servant and messenger, and messenger of Allah, of Allah, Allah Akbar, <laughs> Allah Akbar, right? So let's do the same thing in Arabic. Do you know the Arabic part? Like, I, I watched, but I don't know the whole thing. Okay, so I will say this slowly and I want you to repeat after me, okay? Bismillah. Okay. Ashhadu Ashhadu An la An la Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa ashhadu Wa ashhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Allahu Akbar, welcome to Islam. <laughs> you made the best decision of your life, Sister Frey. Right? And this is the best day of your life. Uh, and we hope and pray that may Allah always uh, keep you uh, firm in Islam, firm in faith. And we pray that may Allah strengthen you. And really important, learn more about Islam and start practicing Islam. We are all here to help, especially the sisters. And one of the most important service that, that, that you can do for humanity is to share this uh, this wonderful uh, guidance with all of humanity starting with your parents but becoming the best daughter right the best sister the best neighbor the best human because that's what islam encourages us to do so again welcome to islam oh there is one good news right there's one good news you know allah who is the most merciful who is the most uh, you know forgiving he mentioned through prophet muhammad peace be upon him that anyone who comes back to islam Allah is going to forgive all the sins of that person. So in the eyes of God, you know, no sin, no blemish, right? Pure and innocent. And as people say, like a newborn baby. And we hope and pray that you remain like that, you know, without sin. Even if you commit any sin, pray to God directly. Sincerity, no mediator. Inshallah, Allah will forgive. Welcome to Islam and may Allah make you a scholar of Islam. So you can, inshallah, propagate the message. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome again. Alhamdulillah. Alaikum. 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 Alaikum.